Hi, I'd like to talk to you about Net Support School, our classroom instruction and monitoring solution that's been at the heart of the Net Support product range for the last 30 years. So Net Support is 30 years young. We are specialists in one-to-one -one and one-to-many remote control, and classroom management has been at the foundation of our product portfolio since day one. Net Support School is all about taking that evolution of lock, stop and block tools that were designed to control student behavior in the classroom and move them on to facilitating assessment, learning, interaction and engagement within the digital classroom. At its heart, Net Support School starts by providing a simple mechanism for a teacher to connect to all of the students within the classroom, irrespective of the mix of platforms and devices that are being used. A teacher can browse and connect to students, have predefined lists of PCs, predefined lists of students, or connect automatically through via things like Google Classroom and OneRoster to pull down pre-populated lists of students to make the process as quick and easy. Once the teacher can see the student screens, they're presented with a wealth of features. Now we're really mindful that sometimes the most important barrier to effective use of digital technology is providing that teacher confidence where they move from that survival mode to mastery of technology in the classroom. So they can use NetSport School in either a simplified cut down view or in a much more sophisticated detail view. They can see the student thumbnails. They can interact with the traditional lock, stop and block of blanking student screens, locking screens to gather attention to the front of the class, or they can communicate and interact in simple ways like messaging and chatting with groups of students. And groups is an important point because one of the key parts of the NetSport School is the ability to group students within a classroom in a visual sense. It's really important when we think about learner differentiation or if we undertake certain tasks, we might want to revisit a topic with certain learners within the classroom. The UI of the product is broken down into some key areas. The first are these kind of management features, viewing what a child's doing and having some level of control to make sure they remain on task. So that starts with screen control, internet control, looking at what websites kids are visiting, being able to provide for the duration of a lesson a list of approved websites or restrict their activity. The same for application use. Now time's the key within the classroom and often it's the 30 seconds to a minute where teachers are expecting children to follow a task that actually is the real um, loser in terms of teaching time and pure pedagogy. So with Net Support School, a teacher can quickly, with a single click, open all the applications they choose on each of the students' machines, launch a website and of course equally close an application or website when appropriate. So it ensures that students are always absolutely on task. As well as that task management, we can also ensure, for example, that the children aren't printing when they shouldn't be, or often is the case with younger learners, make sure that duplicates aren't being sent to the printer in turn. In terms of exam conditions, NetSport School ensures that things like memory sticks can be blocked on the fly so we can lock down that classroom during those testing conditions. In the broader sense, when we've got our children connected and managed, we're into the heart of the lesson, which is about teaching and learning. Within NetSport School, as well as seeing the student screens, the teacher can quickly project their screen to all students, our show mode. They can show rather than their whole PC, just a selected application. In terms of showcasing student learning, a teacher can select an individual student screen and share that to the rest of the class. We refer to that as exhibit mode. And simultaneously, they can also show video, which is synchronized across all of the student devices. So that visual interactive is at the heart of what NetSport School delivers for the classroom. Now, not every classroom is about visual learning. Another aspect is about the audible learning. And with that in mind, NetSport School has a language lab style feature that allows a teacher, perhaps when the students have their headsets on and are undertaking some modern foreign languages, to be able to actually listen in on student activity, constantly record audible activity for a student. So if they hear a really good pronunciation, they can capture that, save it as an assessment point, or again, play back and share for the rest of the class. So we have our visual and we have our audible learning. Of course, lots of what happens in the classroom is about resources. So NetSport School, as well as quickly launching applications, can drop and deliver an individual document or resource to each student's machine. Or it can be more sophisticated and use our handout and collect work mode, where documents can be delivered automatically to students' machines. And at the end of the lesson, when they finish completing their task, they'll be automatically collected back and stored on the teacher's computer for subsequent review. Lots of what's at the heart within NetSport School is also about providing tools for formative assessment. Many products offer the simple baseline of capturing quick feedback. 
NetSport School has an interactive survey mode where quick questions can be fired to students and visually they can respond on their screens and capture the answers back. Following our group idea, you can automatically group students based on their results. If you want to go one step further, there's a complete testing component built into NetSport School that allows teachers to deliver pre-prepared questions from labelling maps, dragging and dropping answers, selecting from multiple choice. And all the time they're using that feature, the system will automatically mark and feedback to the teacher. Again, making sure that time isn't lost. Perhaps the really important one within that set of assessment tools is the Q&A mode within Net Support School. Built around the assessment framework of being able to deliver effective and quick basketball questioning, the concept behind the Q&A mode starts with a teacher having to prepare nothing at the start of the discussion. What they can simply do is ask verbal questions to the students, but capture their responses electronically. To engage with different types of learners, the questioning process can be done on a game show based style. It can be first to answer, team based or random selection, making sure that no child in the room ducks from the activity. The teacher can simply say, I'm going to ask a question now, which is the largest planet in the solar system? The children have a chance to think and then respond quickly, either quickest to answer. Once the teacher identifies the child that responded first or has been randomly selected, they can ask them to verbally answer before the teacher visually marks correct or false, or more importantly, can bounce it on to the next student to include that delivery of, of differentiated questioning, or they can also request a peer assessment where other children feedback their validation of whether the child was right or wrong. And the game show style approach is a really important way to deliver quick, unplanned plenary activities to gauge learning at the end of the lesson. NetSport School has a range of those kind of interactive tools, but beyond that, it goes much further. If children are working on their PC, perhaps in a open documents, and they're typing um, an essay or a paragraph about a particular topic that's been taught in the classroom, NetSport School includes an inbuilt keyboard monitor, which will allow the teacher to identify what the children are typing, and it will automatically identify when key keywords are triggered by the child. A good example, again, thinking of our solar system concept, is that as the children are writing their essay or coursework, the teacher can see and score every time a planet or a different body within the solar system is mentioned, so the teacher can see that they're on task. Now, there's lots of things happening in the classroom. We've already talked about sharing screens and visual content. We've talked about websites that are appropriate to the lesson. We've talked about survey and quiz results. Within NetSport School, it also includes a unique student journal which records all of that content and builds it together into a PDF document that can grow less and less during the term time. That is always accessible to the child. It means they can take that home and use that as part of their homework and revision, particularly if a school wants to start developing flipped classroom and flipped learning. It also means if a student was absent, they've got a record of what was discussed and the teacher can use that in future years to start building additional lesson plans. To aid accessibility, and that is a key in terms of effective use of technology in the classroom, NetSport School also has a unique student toolbar displayed at the top of the screen. It can be hidden if required, but it means there's a simple one-click point where children can access things like a list of which websites they're allowed to access, what documents have been sent by the teacher, they can see visually what the lesson objectives are and the outcomes that are expected from the lesson, the time left, and when younger learners are being encouraged, they can also see visual rewards that are given to the teacher during the lesson. NetSport School doesn't stop at the teacher desktop environment. It also provides supporting apps on iOS for a teaching assistant so that they can monitor visually one or two students that they've been assigned to support during the learning. And for the network manager or IT technician, we provide a tech console that allows that manager to see multiple classes laid out on the screen with thumbnails and schematic so they can see which teachers managing which students across the network and where appropriate a teacher can request help from a technician and there's a visual indicator. That avoids the need to send a child out of class to seek assistance. It also means that the network manager can provide a level of security and control over the devices within the school, including applying policies that will flag machines when certain security features aren't in play. So there you have it, NetSport School. Functionality to make it easy and responsive for teachers to quickly connect to students within a classroom, irrespective of their platform or devices. Functionality to allow them to shepherd and manage students within the classroom. Tools to deliver quick formative assessment throughout the lesson. And an extra functionality to support student learning 
and remote technician support. Pull them together and that's why Netsport School has been the market leader for the last 30 years.